Bowl eligibility is on the line for Illinois football heading into their game against Michigan State. They needed at least one more win to make their first bowl game since 2014. Illinois also looking to win its fourth straight Big Ten game. That hasn't happened since 2001, and it's a great start for the Spartans. Elijah Collins plows in from a yard out as Michigan State goes up 28-3 in the first half. But right before the half, here comes Illinois with no time on the clock. Brandon Peters airs it out to Josh. Mator Bebe for the 46 yard score to give the Illini some life heading in to half. And after a slow third quarter where Sparty added a field goal to make it 31 10, it's Peters to Imator Bebe again. This one goes for 83 yards as the junior grad transfers start a rally and the defense the biggest reason why. First, forcing four turnovers, Sidney Brown there intercepts Brian Lewerke and takes it 76 yards for the pick six. And we have a ball game now, but a missed extra point still has the Illini down 31-30. MSU adds a field goal to make it 34-30, and that was Josh Imatwar Bebe once again. Now this one here, it's Peters out to tight end Daniel Barker. And it is the game-winning touchdown. He finds him in the end zone as Illinois completes the biggest comeback in school history. And they are now bowl game eligible with a final score of 37-34. WCI3 Sports Director Brett Behrens has more from East Lansing. Call Illinois a second-half comeback team. What an improbable comeback win as Illinois down 28-3 finds a way to beat Michigan State on its home field. And the party is on here in East Lansing as Illinois is heading to a bowl game for the first time since 2014. You can imagine uh, the excitement uh, in our locker room. Um, you can, you know, it's just a feeling that everybody should get a chance to go through. So pumped up for the football team. Kind of just keep adding to the accolades, you know, Wisconsin and, and this game, probably two of the, you know, one of the bigger wins in Illinois football history. So just to be a part of that, it's honestly amazing. And I'm, I'm glad to be, I'll be watching it on BTN Classic, you know, someday, and it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. The party's just beginning here in East Lansing. It will continue for the next week as Illinois heads to a bye with a 6-4 and four record. Reporting in East Lansing for your line of nation, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports. All right, Brett, thank you. Illinois